How many of you are watching this channel or have thought about, man, I need to replace my W-2. I need to replace my income so life can be better. I'm going to talk about this with the one and only Mr. Jason Pritchard. How are you doing, sir? I am doing great. Zuber, how are you? I'm doing very, very well. Uh, I know this is a topic near and dear to your heart. Very fact, near and dear to my heart. I love this topic. In fact, the first video we ever did was telling your story. Hmm. And your story was so monumental, it actually made the cut for my second book, 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires, right? I had hundreds of interviews to pick from, and yours was one of the 15 because of this topic. Yep. There are lots of people with full-time jobs that hate their job or they want freedom so they can stay at home. I don't care what the reason is, but you want to replace your W-2 income. I have now done that twice, and we're going to talk about it. You have done that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. The first time I did it, it took me 15 years. The second time I did it, it took me five. And when I was thinking about it this weekend, I'm like, I think it, I think I went through three phases. So I wanted to talk about these with you. Uh, but why don't you remind people of your your journey in a couple of minutes and, and we'll dive in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so for me, for those of you guys that uh, haven't followed along with my journey, I got into corporate America when I was really young, 20, 21. And I found myself on the fast track to like management and sales and management. That's what I did when I was uh, when I was in corporate. And so for me, I thought that was going to be my life. I thought I was going to kind of slowly climb the corporate ladder move into like regional management, maybe corporate management, make a couple hundred grand a year and eventually retire, have the nice house and all that stuff that comes along with it. And I found myself in my early thirties, uh, just in this place where I was very unhappy. I was very unhappy with my job. I was very unhappy with my life in general. And I was projecting that unhappiness into my marriage, into my relationship with my kids. And I knew that I was put here on this earth to do something else. And for a long time, I always thought real estate was I was always intrigued by the idea of real estate. And there was times where I thought I was going to, you know, maybe try my hand at it. And that voice in my head kind of crept up and I talked myself out of it, went back to the corporate grind. A couple of years later, I'd find myself kind of going on bigger pockets, looking at the different, you know, outlets that they had. And in, uh, you know, my early 30s, we just, you know, we burned the boats and we sat down, talked with my wife. We came up with the plan and we said, if I don't do it now, I'm probably never going to do it. And we gave ourselves a year to figure it out. So I think for the people that are in that position, step number one is getting clarity on a plan. And if you have a spouse, you need to get your spouse on board and you guys need to talk very openly about what this is going to be because that first year uh, was hard. And I'm not going to sit here and act like it was easy. It was not some fairy tale thing. There was a lot of stressful nights. There was lots of times where I wanted to quit. And if you don't have a clear direction of where you want to go and you don't have somebody there to support you every step of the way, the likelihood that you're going to succeed in this plan is, um, you know, is, is going to be pretty low. So I'd say that was step one for me. Yeah. It's, it's getting the spouse on board for a commitment like that is, is monumental, especially if you're going to go the burn the boats route. 